A question I get asked all the time is, what is my favorite vacuum? And will I do a vacuum review? So you're gonna be seeing that here in today's video. We are talking Amazon products today. It's gonna to be the best of the best cleaning products. I'm gonna be reviewing everything I have. So when I talk about vacuums, I'm gonna be reviewing all four vacuums so you can know what they're good for, why you would need them, same with shampooers and so on. I will say there's gonna be like higher end stuff like the vacuums and shampooers, but they're also like really low end, just like really cool gadgets and tools that's gonna to help you clean. Um, this video is really good too, because next month I'm gonna be sharing all my spring cleaning videos and you're going to be seeing all of these products in those videos so if you want to go ahead and get them now or start saving for them it definitely makes spring cleaning easier plus just cleaning throughout the year so if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button share this with a friend who needs it and let's get into reviewing these products and just so you guys know none of these products are new they're ones that have been in my house for a while so they're not going to look new <laughs> they might be a little dirty but this one I've had for probably four or five years. It's definitely just my go-to vacuum. I think it's because I have had it so long. Um, I love that it comes with like a double battery. So it's got one right there on it and then it has one right here. So for some reason you do run out of battery while you're vacuuming, which I rarely do. All I have to do is come in here and switch it out because these both stay charged. So when it's hanging like this, it's charging this battery. It's also charging that battery. So you never have to really worry about running out. It also has the most attachments. So it's got this attachment and it comes with another one for like um, hardwood floors that's more softer. I think kind of like, I'll have to look. I don't think that one's it. And it comes with these attachments as well. So it is the most pricey, but I will say I've had it for years. I love it. I don't have any issues. I don't have any Dyson vacuums. I had one Dyson when I first started this channel and I just wasn't impressed. I will say though, that was years ago. So they may have gotten better, but in this review, it's gonna only be LG and Hoover's just so you know. I wanted to show you the extra attachments that that first vacuum comes with. This is one that's really good for pet hair. You can use it out in your car. You can use it on the sofa. And then this one's really soft. So if you have floors that are going to scratch super easy that you're worried about, I like that you can put this one on. So this one wouldn't be great for like carpets. It's more like hard surface floors. And then like the one I have attached is good um, for carpets, but... My floors are tile, so I typically just leave that one on. If you can tell, this guy stayed pretty clean so far because I don't use it often. So this first vacuum is just really good if you have the budget and you wanna get something that's just gonna hold up and it's gonna have everything you need. So it's got the two batteries, um, it has all the attachments you're gonna need. You can vacuum out your car, you can vacuum out the sofa, um, you can vacuum your floors. So basically it's just an all-in-one. I've had it several years and it's just done really well. So if you have the budget, this is a really good buy. But now let's talk about vacuum number two. Now, a vacuum number two is still an LG and I still really like it, um, but it didn't come with as many attachments. So I will say I don't grab it as often. When I do grab it, I'm always like, I don't know why I don't grab this one as often, but it is more affordable once again, because I think it only came with one battery and then a lot less attachments. Now it still comes with this. So you can like vacuum off the sofa. Um, I think it still comes with like the brush one too. I just don't have it there. And then obviously this, and you can take take this stick off on both of them. So if you just want it as a handheld vacuum, that works too. So both of these are pretty close. I want to say this one has a little more power to it. Um, you can check the details down below in the description box, both very comparable, but if you don't need that extra battery life and extra, um, like couch vacuuming roller attachment, then this one could be a great buy for you. And they do come in different colors just so you know, but I'll definitely have both of those linked. So vacuum number two, is a great vacuum. I just feel like it's a little bit under the first one, but it's a better price. So if you're wanting that look and the longevity of it, but you're okay not having like a second um, battery, which you could purchase separately, just keep that in mind. I feel like anytime you're shopping for like a vacuum or a shampooer, you really have to know what your needs are in your household because that looks different for everybody. Um, so say you need a more budget friendly vacuum. Let's talk about these Hoover vacuums next. 
Hoover vacuums are just a great alternative, especially if you still want a stick vacuum, but you don't want to spend as much money. So I feel like these are just more affordable. I also feel like the suction power is the same when you're buying a Hoover. My cons with the Hoover, even though I use this all the time, is it is a little bit heavier. I notice when I'm vacuuming, I kind of have to switch um, sides. Like I vacuum with my right and then I have to switch to my left where I don't feel like I do with that with my LG. So if that's a problem for you, keep that in mind. Or say you're buying this for your mom or something that's older, I would keep the weight of it in the back of your mind if you can handle it. But if you just clean small areas or if you're buying it for someone that just cleans in small areas it's a really good um, option it does come with a few attachments now this one's hanging on the wall it comes with that attachment but it's not charging so the battery separate um, and I can take this off so you can see it here is the battery and I have to just keep this on a charger and I typically keep it out in the garage um, and I'll show you what that looks like but if you wanted it in your laundry room or kitchen or wherever you just have to leave this plugged into that so it stays charged so that's another feature that makes it a little bit harder when I hang up my LG vacuums, they automatically start to charge where these don't. So definitely just keep that in mind. That's where um, an extra battery comes in hand because when this runs low, I already have another one that's being charged. Um, so let me take you outside so you can see this um, charging station for this. We are out in my garage, so the lighting's different and it's a little messy, but just bear with me. So this is the charging station. So you just pull on these and pull it up. As soon as I take one off, I put one on so that there's always one charging and I will say there's like different levels like one of my vacuums has a 2.0 this one has a 4.0 so this is gonna last longer and I interchange them out so I have quite a few like Hoovers like I have a two a three and a four so I gravitate towards the four obviously um, but the like higher the battery, the heavier it gets. So if you're getting it for someone else that needs it lighter, you might notice like if it's a 2.0 or what size. This is a really good vacuum. It's a really good option. Another pro that I love about this vacuum is it gets under my furniture better than my LGs. So if you're worried about like dust getting underneath your sofa or TV stands or dressers or beds, I really can like lean that down and it's so flat at the top. Um, and that's why all the weights and the handle like where you're vacuuming. But if you're needing to get underneath pieces, it really does fit under them well. So that's the first Hoover. Now let's Let's talk about the last vacuum which is the second Hoover. This vacuum doesn't look like much and it looks like it wouldn't be a great vacuum but I catch myself grabbing this one especially in the evenings. It's just super lightweight, um, easy to use, easy to clean. All of them are easy to dump out. They just have the canisters. Um, I will say the suction may seem a tad bit less than the other three. Um, so I would stick with like hardwood floors. You can use it on carpet and still get really good carpet lines and it still works but I feel like these back here are a little bit more powerful. I would say this one and this one are the most powerful. And then this one may be a little less and this one may be a little less. Not that it's bad, it's just not as strong as those other two. But what's nice with these two Hoover vacuums is that they can stand upright. They don't need a stand to do that. When I'm using my LG vacuums, you'll see me like lay them down on the floor because if I put it up on the wall, it'll like fall and slide down and scratch it. So I always lay it down. If you're not a person that can do it or wants to like keep bending over to get your vacuum, you're gonna love one of these two Hoover vacuums because they can stand upright. So say in your house you have a lot of wood floors and you have a tight budget but you still want something that looks good and works well, that vacuum, the last Hoover vacuum is the one for you. Now say you have more carpets and rugs and maybe pet hair that gets on them, I really think you're gonna want the first Hoover just because of the power and the suction on it and it's just gonna work better for those carpet areas. So you just kinda get to pick. Do you want LG that's a little more expensive? Do you want Hoover that's more affordable. Both have pros and cons. You just have to weigh them for you and what you're needing. Before we continue on, I wanted to let you know that there is a giveaway in today's video. I always love to give away an Amazon gift card um, during these Amazon videos, just in case you see a product that you want to try or test out or give to somebody, or if you want something that's not on this video, 
it's good for all of Amazon. So I'm gonna leave all the details down below in the description box. So when you're checking out those links, be sure to check out how to get entered so you can win that $100 Amazon gift card. We're gonna be talking about shampooers very soon, but first I wanted to touch on a few smaller products. And this next one is a game changer. You're gonna be able to tell how much I use it because it's dirty, so excuse my mess. But it's this really thin duster. See how thin that is? It goes underneath like washer and dryers, furniture, refrigerators, stove, and I'm always so shocked what I find. And I always use this for spring cleaning. I need to use it more. But what makes it nice is it's also very, very extendable. Like you can tell, you can bend, like bend it. Like if you need to get underneath, very, very adjustable very very useful i cleaned underneath my stove and refrigerator last year during spring cleaning and tons of glass had come out there was one time i dropped something and then chase had dropped something i thought i'd cleaned it all but not like underneath the appliances and i like took a swipe and it just all came out so definitely get one of these in your house they're easy to store i just keep mine out in the garage and if you want to see these like tools in action be on the lookout for my spring cleaning videos because that's where i'm going to actually use them and then you can see me like demonstrating them but i promise you you will not regret this purchase <laughs> chase ordered this next tool that i'm going to show you i probably would never have ordered it i don't think i would have thought it worked well or that we would have used it once again it's another game changer it's affordable and it solves a problem <laughs> so here it is right here once again it's another really thin product but it's to clean your grout and when i say this cleans grout so easily basically how we use it is in the shower so like when you're taking a shower it's already like hot and steamy you don't even have to use any product all you have to do is keep this in there and grab it and what's so nice it's like got little grooves for your hand to hold it and you just scrub your grout it'll keep your shower so clean obviously you can use it in all different areas but i feel like showers um, just get the most like build up and they get super dirty. You can use the top in. We mainly use this side, but like I said, all you do is grab it and scrub. Game changer, affordable. Make sure you have one of these. Now let's talk shampooer. So I'm gonna show you one if you just have some rugs in your house, you don't have a lot of carpet, um, you just do easy cleanups. Super, super nice to have. I'm also gonna show you another one. Say you have more carpet and rugs than like a hard surface floor in your house because whatever you have, you're kind of looking for a different product. Even if you need a shampooer, you're gonna want one that functions best so you're not having to like refill it up a ton or it goes out faster. So you definitely just have to be aware of what your needs are when you're looking for cleaning tools. So let me show you my two favorites. Here are my two shampooers and my two fur babies. <laughs> They're the reason I own shampooers. Um, once again, it's another Hoover product. I just love them. They've been around for years. I feel like they have great products and they have lots of great options. So this was the very first shampoo I ever owned. It's super lightweight. It's easy to do. It's perfect for like small bedrooms and rugs. I say small because this is the size of the tank. So if you don't want to keep refilling this up, um, then you can get something with a bigger tank. Now, if you don't care and you just want something really affordable and really lightweight, this will clean all the carpets in your house. You'll just have to stop to like refill this and empty the like dirty water container bin out more often, but still does really, really well. Then you have this one. I love my boys in the background right now. <laughs> Then you have this one, say you have a two story house and you have tons of carpet or tons of rugs, maybe a lot of dogs with a lot of messes. This has cleaned up a lot of dog messes, so it's gonna work too. But say you don't wanna change out the water as much. You just wanna start cleaning and get several areas done before you have to do that. This would be your guy. This seems very professional to me. It's a lot bigger, cleans more spaces, maybe even a little bit stronger. I use both all the time so i tend to grab this one if the dogs have had an accident on the rug it's just small it's easy to fill up or if i just have like one space to work on this is like hey i'm spring cleaning or i'm doing a deep clean i want to do multiple rooms i kind of tend to grab this one more so it's just whatever 
features you're looking for, how much carpet you have in your house, how many rugs. So definitely look into those two options. And then I'll link this as well. This is the cleaner that I use in both of them. Even if it's not like a pet mess, that's still what I use um, to put in it to get the carpets clean. The next product I get asked about all the time. So I actually picked up this brush from Ikea but I was getting asked about it so much. Like every time someone came over, I realized um, Amazon <laughs> sells the exact same brush. And so like I'll send it to my sister, which is super funny. My sister lives in Texas. She probably lives five or 10 minutes away from Ikea, but she never goes. So I had to order her one <laughs> from Amazon to send to her. So if you're buying Amazon, you can probably get a little bit cheaper, but I will link it for you. But it sticks to your sink. So it's just always there. <laughs> I use this every single day. Everyone that comes over that's like during the holidays helping me cook and clean, love it. They love that it's just right here. And as you can tell, it just like sticks in there. I'm not sure if they have other colors. I think this is the only one I've seen, but just super helpful, really good like housewarming gift too. If you have someone buying a house, you could just get them a few, like a little sponge, like a cupcake stand, nice little soap dispensers on the brush, maybe like a kitchen towel, be super cute. Even add in a candle, but. Super affordable, helpful, useful, win, win, win. Okay guys, the next topic is going to be products that like vacuum and mop, which are game changers. I own two, so we'll be talking about that next. But first I wanted to talk about one more product. This is to like clean your window sills. Obviously no one wants to clean their window sills. We probably only do it once a year during spring cleaning, but it is nice to get it done. I know when I'm cleaning a lot, my fingers just get really sore and the skin like wears down. Just you're touching a lot of like chemicals and products. So anytime I can use something that I don't have to touch it, plus you never wanna like cut yourself like on the window itself. So this is just really helpful. You can clean the inside of it. So you'll just open your window, spray a product and rub it in there and it'll get it all nice and clean. So definitely just a cool product. You don't have to have it, but it does just help out. Whoever came up with the idea <laughs> for something to vacuum and mop is a genius. Like it's a game changer when you're cleaning your homes, especially if you have a lot of like hardwood floors or tile floors. Um, you know, it's so easy to like vacuum carpet and be done, but like when you have to vacuum tons of like hard surface floors and then go back and mop, it can be really time consuming. So every house has gotten a little bit bigger. So like my first two houses, I cleaned my floors every single day. When I say clean them, I mean like, I vacuumed like three times a day and then I mop before I went to bed. This house has just been a lot harder on me and it was just a lot more work until I found these two products. You could do one or the other. I feel like it's a game changer to have both. So this may go on a wish list for a birthday, anniversary, Valentine's Day, Christmas. I know it, let's already talk about Christmas. <laughs> so they're probably higher end items, but they are game changers. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First up is the device <laughs> that does it for me. So this is a Dreamy. They have lots of different brands. I'll link a few for you. I've had several. It's all about just finding what your needs are before you purchase one. So this one actually vacuums and mops. Game changer. It will even come over here and re-wet the sponges and send itself back out. Like I don't have to do anything. It does it for me. I have this thing programmed to where it needs to go. It goes off every morning at nine and finishes, I think around 10 30 or so. My floors were just so dirty with um, all the dead grass in Oklahoma, or it's like dormant. And so George will bring it in and there's just grass everywhere. I had forgot to turn this back on. I like turned it off during Christmas because we had like trees and decor and I didn't want to like mess with the settings but this is a game changer. <laughs> so um, like I said, it's a little bit more costly. If you just need ones that vacuum, it's gonna be more affordable and that alone is gonna save you a ton of work. I highly suggest running it when you're at home if you have pets. So I've seen a lot of like TikToks and videos where like a dog has an accident and it like goes through it and it keeps going. So I do ours at nine o'clock in the morning because we've already been up. 
I can make sure there's no accidents and then it runs and we have clean floors for the whole day. Like game changer product right here. And just to tell you a few more details, what's so nice is you can run it all from your phone. So say you're gonna be gone and or out of town and you don't want it going, you can turn it off from your phone. What's nice is you can mark off areas. So like, I don't want it in my office cause I have like this rug area. So it knows to clean everywhere but that rug or say there's a certain room you don't want it to go in. You can like mark it off. Cause like the first time you open it and set it up, it like does a whole map of your house. It starts like going through it so it can figure it out. And then you can tell it where you wanna go. So maybe it's after dinner and you drop some food or there's a mess. I can send it just to my dining room and have it vacuum and mop just underneath my dining room table. So super high tech i think that's why the price is a little bit more there's a lot more affordable options if you just need it to vacuum and those are game changers as well if you're busy and you have pets and you have kids and you don't want to vacuum like all day every day definitely look into different options and like i said i'll link a few of my favorites down below in the description box this product was introduced to me through a sponsorship it's been one of those products that i'm like i would never have found this otherwise <laughs> and i use it so much like i cannot imagine having tile floors and not having this tool so this is a lot like the other one it vacuums and mops at the same time so typically when i go to clean all my floors i have to vacuum all of them and then i have to come back and mop them this does it all at the same time which is so time friendly and I feel like that's what we need in our lives when we're super busy we want the house to look clean but we don't have tons of time um, it turns on here's the little dispenser I can get all the floors out of my house on one run just so you know this is the product I use it smells amazing I think they have one other scent but this is definitely my favorite um, so if you're needing something like this like I highly suggest there are different brands. So look into them. I'm sure they all do the same thing. This is just the one I own and it's even self-cleaning. I'll show you the charger out in the garage. You just set it on it. It stays charged when you're not using it. And then I can do a self-cleaning button. So when I'm done with it, I put it on the stand and I clean it and it even cleans out the roller for me. It seems so weird to have this spot empty because this is where I keep like all my shampooers and stuff, but they're inside from filming. But I wanted to show you the space. So you just keep it plugged in somewhere. Um, it's got spots for like an extra roller and different features, but all you do is set it on it like that. If you hear it, like it started, it connected. And so it stays charged. So when I need it, I just come pick it up and take it and use it. And then when I'm finished, I set it back on here. So when I need it, it's already charged. While I'm out here, I wanted to go ahead and talk about a few other products. So if you're looking for a mop, um, I have the O-Cedar mop. It's really good for like deep cleaning. It's especially good if you need to get into corners and like around things like toilets where like the other... Um, device I was just talking about like the vacuum mop it's not gonna like bend and go places you can't clean walls with it you can't clean baseboards so this is a different type of clean it's just a little more work you have to fill it up you have to keep moving it I use both often once again you just have to figure out what you need if you're like me and you want both so when you're cleaning you can decide what type of cleaning you're doing that is always an option um next up are these like handheld shampooers these are super convenient if you have pets or children that have accidents make messes so um tires getting older so he has accidents so it's just so nice like if it's a spot on a rug i don't have to get the full shampooer out i can just grab one of these this is really good if you want to deep clean like your sofa or any of your upholstered furniture like headboards um chairs dining chairs couches stuff like that um both kind of serve the same purpose if i had to lean one way for some reason, I lean towards the Bissell, but I use both of them. You can tell this one's actually dirtier <laughs> than this one. Um, both come with like great, great attachments. I would just grab whichever one's like the better price because I don't think you can go wrong. Um, but they are just good to have if you just have those small messes and you don't want to pull out like a whole shampooer. Say you need to clean up like dog hair or something like that and you don't want to get your vacuum out or you don't want it to be loud, maybe it's during nap time. 
This is like a pet hair um, type roller for like, I would say you're like fabric furniture, so like chairs, sofas, stuff like that. Maybe even it's like the bottom of a bed or um, a footboard or a headboard or something. But what's so nice is you just use it like you kind of would a roller and then you just press this button and you can empty out anything you get. So maybe there's even like glitter or confetti. I feel like you can use it more than just pet hair, but that's what you're mainly gonna be picking up. So it's just something, it's easy to use. Maybe you know somebody that's getting a pet. It's just like a fun gift to give them. Maybe you need it because you're always like trying to clean off your furniture. So I just thought this would be a fun product for you guys to see and maybe you test out and see what you think. The next two products are products you need. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> you don't need them until you need them, um, especially this one. So we have a few of these. This is a brand new one. You can tell it's in plastic, but this is really good if you have like um, a drain that's clogged. So it can go down as far as you need. It has these like tiny little hooks so it can pull out, especially if it's like hair, you know, if it's in like a shower or bathtub or a sink. Even if like your toilet um, gets stopped up and you need something, this can work as well. So this is something you wanna buy multiple of because it's not something you really wanna keep <laughs> after using it. I mean, if it's just a sink and you can like clean it, that would be nice. But if you're using it in a different area, but I feel like these get grabbed a lot, especially with me and Savannah, we both have really long hair. And so our showers just tend, like no matter what kind of device we keep at the bottom, <laughs> like somehow, like our hair gets around it and it gets like, clogged or chase just tries to clean it out ever so often so it doesn't um these are affordable and they'll be a rest friend. this next product is something you have to have in your house if you have a dryer if it's not this it's a product like this um i've had a couple sorority sisters that have lost their house to house fires because of their dryer so you should be doing it more often but if not, during spring cleaning, you have to clean out your dryer um, vent. So I know we clean out the lint vent every single time. Every single time I use my dryer, I clean that out, but you need to do a deeper clean. This will hook up to any vacuum. I'm gonna actually show you how to use this one. Um, so you can see it's right here in the bag. I save it. And like I said, I try to do it multiple times a year, but I definitely do it during spring cleaning. So I know that it got done. And it's super easy look at this like it doesn't look like much because you're actually using your vacuum but this could save your house from a house fire so i feel like it's something that's easy to do so we should all be doing this it's affordable it's typically on sale i don't know if it will be during this time but get it clean out that dryer so you can like sleep easier at night so i'm gonna show you so this is that first vacuum i talked about i just took off this stick so you can use any vacuum for this you just have to make sure that you put this on to your vacuum. So hook that on like that and it should work on any vacuum because this is like silicone and you just slide it on. Then once you turn it on, this is the end that you're gonna put down in your dryer vent so that you can suck up as much lint as possible. So real quickly, like I said, I'll be doing this for like spring cleaning, but I wanted to show you like this is where all my lint goes. So I clean off the actual tray but this whole purpose, I'm not gonna turn this on because you won't be able to hear me, is to push this down in there. And that's what like this wire looking hanger part is. You can push it as far down as it'll go. You can go around and it's gonna suck up all that stuff that you're not getting deep down. And it will go so much deeper than you realize. And if this can get down there, that means the lint can. And you will be shocked how much extra lint you will suck up into your vacuum that you're missing when you're just cleaning out like your actual tray vent. One more product to talk about, um, cause I had ordered these off Amazon a while back and they get used all the time. So I think the new ones are red, just in case you know if the like listing looks different, but it's the exact same thing. But it's these two brushes. I keep them underneath my bathroom sink. This one also has this little corner piece that I use all of the time. It's like silicone, so if you like need to clean out a corner, but basically they're like a rough brush. These are good for grout. I use them mainly for like in my sink where the drain is. I feel like it never drains all the way or dries it out. So I'll get a lot of that like redness around it or even, you know, dark stuff. You can just take it and scrub it. So like 
I know you could use a toothbrush, but a toothbrush is a lot softer bristles than these are. These are super rough. It doesn't scratch anything, but it just does clean it easier than if you're trying to scrub it with a toothbrush. And a toothbrush you can only use a few times. I've used these several, several, several times and they hold up really well. And it's just nice to have the combo. I clean shoes with these, like the soles, like the sides of them. I'll use um, like powdered Tide and water and I'll scrub like Savannah's tennis shoes or my niece's tennis shoes. Like I feel like I'm constantly pulling these out. So I feel like you get your money back super easy. Um, so it's just another good thing to have on hand, especially with that spring cleaning coming around. You're gonna be seeing me use these a lot. So have yours ready so when you see me use them, you can use them and then we'll have a clean house by the end of March <laughs> all together. I hope I covered all the details well in today's video. So I didn't want it to go super long, but I feel like when you're buying a shampoo or, or a vacuum, you're wanting to know what it's good for because a vacuum that's good for me with not a lot of carpet in my house may not good for you if you have a ton of carpet in your house. So I tried to be really detailed without getting too lengthy on what these products are good for. If you enjoyed this style of video, definitely let me know. So when I'm planning my videos for next month, I know you want more detailed like specifics, not just seeing me clean, but more diving deep into the products and what they're good for and what I'm using around my house on a daily basis. So definitely let me know, but thank you guys so much for being here. Um, definitely share this with a friend if they'll find it helpful. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.